YouTube. Welcome back to our channel. What's up with it, man? <laughs> it's late. I don't know what time it is right now, but you know what? We up. I can tell y'all exactly what time it is. It is 1.13 in the in morning. The morning. I know y'all probably wondering, why y'all ain't sleep? Pacific Standard Time at that. We in Cali, remember? Uh, Let's just jump right into it, man, because we feel like we're stalling. No, but for real. I told my husband I was done with Cecil, right? Yeah. I was done with it. After we went back, I was done. No, I'm like, negative we, energy. We had to leave. I was like, we closing this chapter. We're not mm -hmm. posting about it no more. We're not talking about it no more, right? So tonight, we was getting ready to go to bed. We was getting ready to, you know, Netflix and chill, watch some movies. Mm -hmm. And what did you come across, babe? I came across this movie called Steel on Netflix. I don't know if you guys ever seen it or even heard of it. I know we haven't, but it's called Steel. So pretty much real quick, it's about a Thailand movie that has four little mini movies inside of it. And one particular title caught our attention. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. You know, I got my pajama shirt on, as y'all can see. I'm, I got my my censure on because I sleep in my censure and I'm just like okay babe what's up what, what you find because he's like babe I'm like what Trip me out. I'm like he scared me I was in the bathroom he was like come look at this so I go I look and I'm reading the title and I'm like what but then I get and I'm like oh shit right what does the title say babe uh something something about description. girl girl description. caught in in water tank or something like that so automatically that caught my attention. I'm like, girl caught in water tank. So it was like a haunted hotel. It was like three, four stories. Four stories haunted yeah. hotel, water tank, fire. a girl in the water tank. Yeah, girl in the water fire, tank. Um, fire, fire at a hotel, I mean yeah. a club or something right. and a prison death. Right, right, right. So we were like haunted hotel, okay. And then we were like, girl in a water tank. Mm -hmm. It was like, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch that. <laughs> we, we gotta watch this. Right. Cause it just started bringing back Cecil, right? Exactly. But then, we look at the date that the movie came out. Hmm. The movie came out 2010. in 2010. 2010. When did Elisa Lam die? 2013? Okay. So these stories are based on true stories that right. are in the Thailand newspaper. Right. Right? So that we were like, these are true events. They just mm -hmm. took place in Thailand. Mm-hmm. Three years before what happened in the United States. Right. So we decided to watch it. We're watching it. We're watching. It was a story before that. We were like, okay, whatever. So then we fast forward. We get to the other story that we're looking for. Right. We watched the whole movie. But we turn it on. We're watching it. Now, when it first comes on, we see a lot of similarities to Cecil. But we were like, we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. This right, is a movie. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So... We're starting to watch it, and we noticed that the apartment or the hotel, whatever it looked like, it looked like a hostel. Right. So I'm like, okay, we're, we're going to get somewhere with this. So go ahead, babe. Tell them what else we started. Okay, so the girl, it was a girl. She walked into the hostel-looking hotel or whatever it may be. The first thing that messed my mind up, they showed the girl walking inside the door, and the first thing that she saw was an elevator. that said out of order mind you no more in this little mini film did they say anything else about this elevator but why as soon as the girl walked inside this hostel she looked at the elevator and said out of order already my antennas were up i was like oh why they emphasize why the they emphasize the elevator so let's skip three years ahead to 2013. elisa lam was inside of the elevator, right? The elevator that she went in, she kept pushing the buttons, but it was like the elevator wasn't working, right? Like it, like was, it was out of order. order, right? Okay. Okay. Conspiracy number one. Go ahead, babe. So then as we're watching, you know, and the girl finally gets up to whatever floor she was looking for, mm -hmm. she gets help from the lady that lives there, mm -hmm. um, the, that's I guess the manager over the place she gets help because she's looking for somebody right so then she ends up in the room with the dude they get introduced or whatever and she's looking for drugs mm -hmm. right so she doesn't have money and it later comes out that she was 
in town and she didn't have no money, but she's lying to her mom, making it seem like she found a job, but she seems like right, she's just right, in right. so much distress that she mm -hmm. needed the drugs, that she was willing to do a sexual favor for the drugs, exactly. which is what she did to get the drugs from the dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the mm -hmm. dude fell for it, and it all seemed cool. Right. Right? It right. seemed it like it was going it all right. Like it was going pretty good. So? So I was a butt. <laughs> it's always, it's a, always butt. a butt, right? So as the, the, the story goes on, the dude leaves mm -hmm. the um, apartment, and when he comes back, the girl, he, he don't like where she go. So he's looking around like something is off, mm -hmm. right? And we could be skipping a whole bunch of stuff right now, but we're trying to get to the point. Right, to the good stuff. <laughs> so you can go and you can watch it. It's on Netflix. It's called Steel. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he's looking for her, and she, when he was gone, found his drugs that was in his fish tank. Right. And she took him. So when yep. he gets back, she's nowhere to be found. She jumps, she goes, she hides in the closet. <laughs> he finds her in the closet because he notices that his, his drugs gone. are gone because right. she left the thing on the floor like a dummy, but right. know, whatever, right. it's a movie. So he kills her. Mm -hmm. He kills her. So, in rage. Right, right, right. And if you, when you guys watch it, you're gonna, you guys want to see, he's contemplating once he kills her, He's sitting on the floor like, what am I going to do with this body? What can I do with this body? Because I can't leave this body here inside my room. Right. So what do I do with the body? So he looks outside, looks in that creepy hallway, like how it looks on Stale Main. And that little whole quiet, deft, cold hallway. <laughs> and he see nobody's out there. So what do he do? He covers her up. Take her to the balcony, to the top of the apartment, hostel, whatever that little spot is. He climbs up some little steps. And where do we take her, babe? Where do you dump the body at? In the water tank. Yes, sir. On top of the building. On top of the building. Now, just to back up a little bit, this place that they're staying in is just like Cecil. People yep. live there, yep. and it, it literally says that people stay there for the mm -hmm. cheap rent. It says yeah. that in the movie, yeah. and then people stay there like it's a hotel, so they Absolutely. get there like nights there. Right. So this man that I think he even appeared to be, um, he can't hear. I think he was dead yeah, because the lady language, was doing yeah, sign language. language. Right, right, he right. sold drugs and he lived there. He seemed a little off. Yeah, he did. Like he wasn't all there. Right, right. So it could have been, you know, mental stuff going on with him too. Mm -hmm. But that definitely, her stealing his drugs definitely triggered. <laughs> triggered him and he killed her. Yeah. And dumped her water. I mean, her I mean, body. Into the water. Into the water. Mm -hmm. Um, people started noticing that the water started to taste funny. Uh, the lady who actually worked there, who let the girl inside the room, she pulled, I think, some hair out of her mouth. And uh, multiple people, multiple started. people, you know, started noticing. Like one lady was washing clothes, and she went to smell her clothes. She was like, you know, she had like that smell. People were eating. There was eating parts of her body, like. But it was all similar to what, uh, how they found out about Elisa because yep. of the water. Right. They emphasized the water. Yeah. The taste, the right. color, and all right. of that. Right. And that was how they figured out that she was in the water tank because mm -hmm. of the change of the water. Exactly. Now in this movie, they emphasized huh. the change in they the sure water. Did. They emphasized how um, her body parts and her hair were coming up in the water and exactly. in the food because exactly. people lived there and they were exactly. cooking. Exactly. The like he said, the clothes and just you know everything. It was so similar to <laughs> Ali Salam and exactly. what they explained in the documentary. Thank you. We were like, like how, like, how, how something that happened. Way in where Thailand in 2010, where this is when this, this surfaced. This, but we're going to get to that too. Okay, okay. What? You want Oh, that? I thought you wanted. Oh, okay. But anyway, it's just one of those things where how could something in 2010 
take that took place back then way in a whole nother country surfaced to the US with the same exact similarities to a death to a woman at the Cecil Hotel. In the same type of everything from the from the way that their apartment hostel looked exactly. on the movie to, to the, the tea, way man. Cecil looked to the way the whole the um the elevator yeah. to you know her being killed or whatever happened to right, her landing right, right, in right. the damn water tank mm-hmm. it was just too too similar mm-hmm. so right. we did some research right and because it said that this was from the thailand newspapers we of course you know did some research and looked that up mm-hmm. so as you can see there was an article written in the bangkok post In 2008. Yep. So that's two years before that movie even came out. Thank you. Hmm. Five years before Elisa Lam. Thank you. Okay, that's one. So we did a little more digging. Okay, so there's been multiple similar similar deaths that yep. end up in water tanks and they find the water change in, that area. in Singapore. Thank you. Okay. We were like, this is common. Right. In that there. area out there. This, but this is what of they course, do. We don't know right. about it. Right. And, right. And if you notice when we were looking, what we noticed when we were looking for these articles, you they're not straightforward. You have to pay yeah. for these articles right. if right. you want the whole information, especially mm-hmm. the Bangkok one. I tried to read the whole article. Mm-hmm. You have to pay to move forward with that. I wonder why. My thing is, my theory, after I watched the whole little mini movie, something something didn't didn't feel right. Because I'm like, this happened in a whole nother country. They made a, they made a little mini film about it. But it ended up happening in the US with the same similarity type story to what happened years ago. In a different country. In a whole different country. So it kind of makes me think, when you see Elisa Lam in that elevator, now that I'm putting two and two together, like she was running away from somebody, like she was running away from someone or something, right? Make you think, this is just my theory, okay? This is just my theory. What did she do to be seen like she was just so in a hurry to try to get away? And next thing you know, the elevator wasn't working. So then that's the last you saw of her. My thing is, did did she do something to somebody and they end up catching her and they like, look, I can't leave you in this hostel. I can't leave you in this little hotel. What's the best, what's the next thing I can do to hide the body? Throw you in a water tank. I'm thinking just based on that movie that we just watched, based on what they were trying to say in the documentary about her being bipolar and off her meds and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. When you watch the movie still with the drugs and the girl, and then you watch Elisa Lam in the elevator and how she seemed to be hallucinating or running from someone or doing something. And being that this was Cecil Hotel Mm -hmm. in the middle of Skid Row, you you have so many different people staying in this hotel from, you know, people doing drugs. Mm -hmm. With her being new and from out of town, who knows who she ran into. (laughs) They could have given her something. She could have been on something, been hallucinating and been tripping out. Mm. And she could have been killed. She could have hurt herself in the presence of them and they had to get rid of the body. Mm Mm-hmm. Or she literally could have been being chased. And, I mean, we don't we don't know. But that movie really like hmm. made it seem like someone did something to, to her, her. Mm-hmm. and then got rid of the body. Now this, we're not saying that this is what happened. I still stick one hundred percent that that hotel has negative energy, mm-hmm. has some type Absolutely. of spirit Absolutely. thing going on because of what I experienced right. and what we experienced when we were there and what Absolutely. others have shared. So Absolutely. I still stick by that. But 
knowing what happened in Thailand and other places and just based off what was portrayed in that movie that was so close to what happened to her, it just makes me wonder, did someone kill her and then throw her in a tank? Yeah. Because if you watch it, and I think you guys should watch it, it's very much like her story. And my thing is, if there really did happen, like if someone did do that to her, were they inspired by what they seen on Netflix or inspired by the murders that happened in Thailand? Because you gotta think, it's a connection somewhere. You see what I'm saying? Whoever did that to her, they, it's something clicked to the point to where they're like, why the water tank? Why the water tank? Out of you all things. Out of things. all places and out, out of all, all things, why you can hide tank? a body. Why the water tank? So I'm like, was this person inspired? Did they know of these kind of killings in Thailand or seen this, um, this mini short film on Netflix and got inspired by that? I don't know. It just... It's a lot of ways you can really look, dig deep into this that happened to her. You see what I'm saying? After watching this little Netflix mini movie called Steel, look. <laughs> it was my, it was my It, it is, life. man. It, 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 it had me now looking deeper into what really happened. And you know, like, like <laughs> that movie is not the first movie like that comes out in like Asia or like overseas and then it comes here right and it's portrayed as something happened here or mm -hmm. it's like you know mm -hmm. it's so similar because a lot of Asian movies will come out and then we'll have an Americanized one the grudge, you know the rain it's a lot of movies that happen like a lot of stuff comes from them first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that was another thing that we were like damn like okay What's up with that? It's too... Uh, and, and, to, and to think that you don't hear about that stuff. No, from not over there. here. It's not publicized the way no. Elisa Lam's death was. No. Alam Lam. It's not publicized like right. hers was. <laughs> so, it just makes it like, okay, what, what was the point of that? Like, with her being here and the same thing happening there, it just makes me feel like that was planned. Or like, like it was, you know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, guys. Like, really think outside the box here. Okay, listen to listen to what we're saying, and watch the movie. And it can't be a coincidence. If that's the case, and if someone did actually kill her and drag her to the roof, they caught her on camera in the hotel. I mean, the elevator. That means that they would have her being drugged up to the roof on camera. Right, true. Which Where's probably explains why you know the manager seemed how she seemed in the documentary, all nervous and whatnot, and her body language. It right. just everything just seemed off. Mm -hmm. So if if that is what happened, they should have footage. Thank Where's you. the footage? What well, the footage at LA? We need that. We need to see that. How they got the elevator on on camera, but they ain't well, got nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else, y'all. Not running down the hallway, what room she... Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. That's weird. Uh, my thing is, why did she just go downstairs to the lobby? To where, if she was something, if she felt like she was being attacked, why you just didn't go down to the lobby? Well, maybe that's where she was trying to go when she was on the out of order elevator. Maybe that's in know. the hallway and they was trying to get her. Maybe. That's why she was looking out. It's too many similarities in a film that they put on Netflix. Three years later, it really happened in the U.S. You get what I'm saying? Like 2010. 2010. 2008. 2008 then 2010. Then this, that movie came out on... on and then on it happened in 2013. 2013. Mind you, like I said, go back. When you guys watch the movie... She gonna walk into that little hostel. She gonna look at the elevator. It said out of order. Didn't have nothing else to do with, with that little mini film. The, the, the elevator didn't even exist no more. Why would they show that part and it says out of order? But then the elevator is emphasized. That's like, a, that's like the main thing with Elisa. The elevator, right? Because she kept pushing the buttons, kept pushing the buttons. She's like, she was, she was stuck. She couldn't go nowhere. 
Oh, they know they say she they say she pushed the button or something like that. Yeah, or something like that's what they say anyway. Right. All right, um, so look, y'all check that out on Netflix. You guys seen it here first. I'm gonna put that out there. I, I we are the first. We are the first to let y'all know about this. Because we look, we did the search on YouTube, y'all. No. Nobody else has done this. this review on this movie called Steel on Netflix. All right. So in relation to what? Season. Thank you. All right. So everybody else that y'all gonna see hop on this bandwagon after this, y'all gonna know where they got them re what they got their resources from. All right. Y'all seen it here first, man. So make sure y'all share this, y'all liking, y'all subscribing, and man, we want to know. What y'all think about this movie in the comments below? Like, we got to hear it. Please watch it. Please watch it. Like, seriously. It's called Steel. I mean, We're going to drop it in the description and all that so y'all can check it out for y'all selves, all right? Yeah. I mean, hey, check it out, man. We out. <laughs>